What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect, and it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, this one is a barn burner, and it is hot out of the oven. Oh, yeah. What have I said, gentlemen? Men across the age range are fed up with female fuckery. And all it takes is one set of events to set him off. Like the man in this article that was published on the 29th of November. Man, 84, beats wife to deletion during an argument over veterinary bills for the cat. What a cat catastrophic turn of events. I know I ain't shit. But let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! An elderly Montgomery County man said he beat his wife to deletion after she grabbed a knife and threatened to offline him during an argument over their pet cat, according to investigators. Barton Steltman, 84, is charged with terminating his wife, Margaret Steltman, 85, inside their home in Lower Potts Grove Township, Pennsylvania. On Tuesday, November 28th at 2.26 p.m., Lower Potts Grove police officers responded to a home on North Keene Street for a report of an unresponsive woman. The caller, later identified as Barton Seltman, told 911 operators he believed his wife was deleted and that someone quote unquote beat her according to the affidavit of probable cause. Let's pause right there. He said someone, which more than likely meant at that point when it happened, he was in a state of rage and literally lost his mind. Seltman also said that the kitchen in their home was ransacked and that his wife was bleeding from the head, investigators said. Oh, sounds like you tried to turn this into a robbery situation. That's not going to work. Nope, nope, no. When officers arrived, they found Barton Seltman on the rear porch with his hands, face, and clothing covered in blood, according to the affidavit. The officers then found the body of his wife, Margaret Seltman, inside the kitchen. She was unresponsive with injuries to her head. Gentlemen, this is definitely a situation where furniture was definitely moved. RIP to Bernie Mac. Barton Seltman was treated for injuries by medics at the scene and told them that he had injured his wife during a fight according to investigators. Barton was taken to the Lower Potts Grove Police Department. Investigators, meanwhile, found a small kitchen knife under Margaret Saltman's body, as well as shards of glass from a broken candle jar. Later, they determined that she had been struck several times in the head while on the ground. During an interview with investigators, Barton claimed, excuse me, 
The ordeal began when he and his wife were arguing over money for the veterinary care of their pet cat, according to the affidavit. Seltman told police that the argument escalated when his wife grabbed a knife and threatened to offline him, investigators said. Seltman said he then grabbed a four-legged chair and pushed the legs of the chair into his wife, according to the affidavit. Seltman told investigators his wife then fell back and struck her head on the floor, police said. Okay, wait a minute. If they found a knife underneath her carcass, would that not be self-defense? But I, I forgot, as men, we're supposed to allow women to do whatever they want to us and not fight back. Um, yeah, wrong. Saltman said he didn't spot a knife in his wife's hand, but still repeatedly punched her and then used a candle holder to strike her in the head, according to the affidavit. Saltman then said his wife stated, oh, you're offlining me, and that she quote unquote went to sleep according to investigators. After the interview, Seltman was arrested and charged with first degree termination and third degree termination. Talk about overcharging. He was remanded to Montgomery County Correctional Facility and his preliminary hearing is scheduled for December 5th. Online court records do not list an attorney for Mr. Seltman. Well, well, well. This man decided, you know what? One of these cats is getting put down and I'm going to make the decision. Wow. Talk about, once again, old man strength. The fact that this woman cared so much for a cat that she ended up getting offline because of it goes to show you, gentlemen, the crazy cat lady gene is present in all women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, I know I ain't shit. But think about it. How long were they married? Was it really an argument over the cat that sent him over the edge? Or was it possibly years upon years upon decades of pent up rage that this man really felt toward this woman? You think this was the first argument that this couple had? Oh, hell no. But like I said, you never know what a man's going through and what's going to be the catalyst to set him off on a deadly rage. Yep. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in the home. Gotta give it a 10. Method of execution. The hands of hate and the candlestick of, uh, let's call this offlining, but you know what I really mean. 25, psychological impact. I'm gonna give this a 20. And for the brutality factor, I gotta give this a 30. So Barton, the brutalizer, Seltman gets a score of 85. Gentlemen, I'm going to reiterate. It does not matter the age of a man. Once he's finally, finally crossed that line, you never know what a man is capable of. This woman found out the hard way. Oh, he's a little old man. He's 84 years old. He couldn't possibly hurt anybody. 
Wrong, wrong, wrong. I've done more HMTs of old men who took matters into their own hands. Why? Because they finally had enough. Once again, you never know what a man is going through. Therefore, ladies, you never understand what we are truly capable of. He said, hey, she grabbed a knife. So what did I do? I grabbed a chair and pushed her back. They said they found a knife. So how is it that he's being charged with termination? Oh, once again, I forgot. As a man, we're supposed to allow women to impose their will onto us and not do anything about it. This man said, oh, hell no. Yep. In my humble opinion, if they found the knife, then that does leave Cretans to self-defense. But of course, as men, we're not allowed to defend ourselves in this sick ass society. I don't think so. Well. I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. And believe you me, gentlemen, this article is so hot that it's still smoking. Let me know what you guys think. And women, no matter how old you are, you need to understand something crystally clear. The power you think you have by just being a woman, that is out. Feminism and the idea that men are going to not protect themselves and let you impose your will onto us, that has gone out right along with it. Because I'm going to reiterate, no matter how young or old a man is, once you finally push him beyond his limit, guess what? There is a 50-50% chance he's going to put that mask on. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up. Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.